guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are doing minifigure madness. And that is where I get all my minifigures that I've got from sets. And I build them and show you guys what they look like. So, let's get started. First off, we have the yellow jacket. Which came in the Lego Ant-Man set. Called the Final Battle. Come with this really cool jetpack. Um, and ah, it's not my helmet. Oh no! <laughs> yellow jacket and there's the back of yellow jacket that was yellow jacket now we go into now we go into the Lego Knight which is really cool I got him in Lego Land Florida um, from a blind bag and he's pretty cool he's a really cool guy actually And let's put the armor in the uh, helmet on, like that. And he comes with the sword and a shield. This. You do? Just put the sword and the shield on. And this is what the knight looks like. Pretty. There's the front of the knight. And there's the back here. I'm going to hold it up like this so they can see the bottom of it. There's the guy put some fire on his helmet. Turn around so they can do the front of the knight. And then there's the front. That was the knight. Now we go into the police officer. Um, I kind of did a little, like, modifying to him. He had just a regular old cop hat, but I wanted to make him look kind of cool. So I made, I gave him this red hat with the uh, headphones on it. So he looked kind of cool. And then I gave him this little machine gun, like this. And it looked actually pretty cool. Like this. There's the front of him and his little hat. And then there's the back. That was my modified cop. Now, we go on to the Batman. And this is the gray suit. The one that is in the movie. No, this is just the regular gray suit. But this is the Batman gray suit. So it just has the regular suit and just the cape. And then he has like this white band across his head. Like it's really weird. Like you see the like white band across his head? Mm. Like that's what it, it makes his eyes look white in the video. But, like when a hat's on him, but and that's it. Everybody can look at something. And then, and then just put it like that. And then, and then Haley will show you the front and back of it. So there's the front and the back. Really, just the cape. But when you look the cape up, there's some detail behind that. So I'm gonna have to speed up my battery time. Okay. And next we have Spider-Man, which is just the regular. Ordinary Spider-Man. No, they just move the money to him. Here's the front of Spider-Man. And the back. And that was Spider-Man. Next we go on to the paintball guy, which I also got in Legoland, Florida. And he's really cool. He has just the paintball on his head. Paintball suit. And the paintball gun is actually really cool. I think this guy is actually really awesome. So here, Haley, you can show that on the front and the back. And that is our paintball gun. Next, we have next we have Hank Pym, which is pretty much the original Ant-Man. But he gets really old, and he has to get to the other Ant-Man. 
So he, I think he trains the other Ant-Man. I don't know, I haven't watched the movie, but I think that's what happens. Here is Hank Pym. He has two heads. He has a smiley face, and he has like a afraid face or scared. And then with his helmet, his helmet looks really cool. I think this guy looks really awesome. This is the front of him. And the back. That was Hate Pim. Next we have... Next we have Ant-Man. And we have Angel the dog right there. She's trying to sneak in the video. Next we have Ant-Man. The Ant-Man that gets passed down from the Hate Pim. Which created the original Ant-Man. This is just, he has like a smiley face, like a smirk, and he has like a confused face. And then his helmet on. And he came with a little ant. I put that ant in his hand so he doesn't like, talk to ants. So. Here's Ant-Man. In the front, in the back. There you go. Next we have Thor. And this is the uh, this is the Avengers Age of Ultron version of Thor. Um, I think this is one of my favorite versions of Thor. I like his cape. Oh, it's a different kind of cloth than Batman's. Batman's is all like stiff, and this one's just like like this new kind of fabric. And he has a mad face, like a angry face, and he has just like a just a smile. I'm going to leave out the smiley face. So he's happy. But here's the difference in the capes. This one's like a hard, like, a rough cape. This one is like a smooth, it's a different kind of fabric, I think. I don't know why, but it's a different kind of fabric. So it's a different kind of fabric. He has some, like, yellow hair. And the hammer, the Mojolnor. Or whatever, how do you ever pronounce that? Here's Thor. This is the front of him and the back. You don't really have that much detail underneath this cape, but look at this. Next, we have Electro. Electro, I think, is a really cool character. He has like see through arms, see through head. Really cool. And he has this little electric thunderbolt thing. So here is Electro. We have the front of Electro and the back of Electro. You don't really have that much detail, but on the front is a lot of detail. That was Electro. Next, we have this little, I don't really know what his name is. It's um, from Star Wars Rebels. It's Ezra's droid. Um, I don't really know what his name is, but he's kind of like R2. Watch Star Wars. Here is Ezra's droid. Pretty neat. There's a lot of detail in the front, and there's some stripes in the back of his head. Uh oh. Done. Next, we have the Riddler. Which has one light, like lime green leg and one dark green leg. He has a lot of question marks on him, like a lot of question marks on him. He even has a question mark on his hat, and his crowbar looks like a question mark. So here is the Riddler. A lot, he has a lot of detail on his shirt. He looks like he's from like the 1980s. Like he has like some old clothes on. Like it's like the, the old-fashioned clothes. The back of the room looks like that. Like he looks like he's from like the 80s, like the disco party. Wow. That was Riddler. Now we go on to Kai from Ninjago, the yeah. Red Ninja. Yeah, what? Uh, he was Squeakums. <laughs> okay, well, here is Kai. Enough with them, Ariel. 
They keep calling her Squeakums. It's a little air ball. That's her name. Okay, they call her Squeakums because she likes to meow a lot. And she sounds like a little squeaker toy. So, enough with the cats. Let's get back to Legos. So, here is Kai. What are you doing? Here is Kai. He is the red ninja in Ninjago. He has some pretty nice detail on his front. He doesn't have any detail on his back. He has nothing on his back. He's just red. He has a gold sword and a black sword. This is one of my favorite ninjas. So, that was Kai. Next, we have Star Wars. Or Peter Quill. And he has, I just gave him a Star Wars blaster, just one of the regular Star Wars blasters, because I couldn't find his one blaster. So. I have just a smirking face and a really angry mad face. I'm going to put him on a happy face because you don't need to be mad, there's no bad guys around. Next, we have this the Commander Trooper. He is just a regular clone, just an ordinary clone, but he's like a commander of them all. So he, I like him, he's pretty cool. And here he is. Here's the front of him. He has a lot of detail on his front. In the back room is the regular clone details. Oh, God. There are two glasses. Never mind. Next, we have Hawkeye. This is the Avengers Age of Ultron Hawkeye. I actually like this guy a lot. He's one of my favorite superheroes. From the Avengers, actually. And he has a, one, of the, he has a, one of the black hands, which represents that he has a glove on. So he can hold his bow so he don't get hurt. So he can just... It's actually pretty cool. He has like a, like a robe on, like a one-piece suit in the front. And then the back has a little bit of detail on the That was Hawkeye. Next we have Ezra. Which is this person's just droid's owner. I'll just leave him right there so you can see the resemblance between the two. He has the same face. Uh, he has the same face as Ant Man. I just not realize that. He has the same exact face. The smirk, the confusion. That is really weird. <laughs> no, Kiki, no. See, he has the same exact face. That is so weird. Well, I guess long ago, Ant Man has. This is Ant-Man's long lost twin brother, Ezra. There's something right there. And he has this really cool helmet that I've never ever seen before in a Lego bag. Except now. And he has this regular generic little pistol. And this is him and his little droid. He can ride on the top of his droid. Because he has like a little... <clears throat> <coughs> a little stud on top of that. She's like, nah, 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 nah. And that was Ezra. We're down to like ten more people left, guys. So, hang tight. Next, we have the alien monster guy from um, the Guardians of the Galaxy. Really, really, really creepy guy. He tried to like a bunch, like a bunch of alien soldiers, and they like try to attack. Him. The Guardians of the Galaxy. So. <coughs> His gun is actually really cool. I've never seen this kind of gun before. Yeah.
There he is. He's on. It's pretty good detail on the front. Not that much detail on the back. But that was the alien monster. Next we have a Nova Core Trooper. This is from Guardians of the Galaxy. He's awesome. He's like the police enforcer in Guardians of the Galaxy. He's like the police crew. He's a really cool helmet. And a, he came with handcuffs, but I gave him this big Star Wars like sniper rifle. Just to make it, he looks way cooler with this. And that was the Nova Court Officer. Next, we have Nightwing. The red version of Nightwing. I've seen a blue version and a green version before, but I have the red version of Nightwing. He has a smiling face and a, like, just serious face. I would have put him in the house. Just some regular black spiky hair, and I just gave him just this regular. So that was Nightwing. Detail of fun, so. Next we have from Lego Monster Hunters we have the Werewolf Hunter. This guy's actually really cool. I like his gun though. I think he's got his hat's kind of cool too. This guy's kind of cool too. This is the werewolf hunter. It has some like bullets or like ammo across his front. And like a jacket with some pockets. And then he has the ammunition along his back. Really cool guy. We're down to five more. Next we have the orange clone trooper. Which I think is awesome. This is going to be one of my top fives. Have to be one of my top five things for today. But that I have to He is very, very awesome. He has this really, really huge heavy machine gun that he can hold like this. Uh, not like this. Like this. And then you just turn his head, and it looks like he's blasting. Very cool guy. 